What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to set up the Fire TV stick. This is the uh, 4K with Alexa voice remote. Okay, so right out of the box, everything you get here is the remote. They give you the two AAA batteries, what we need to put into the uh, remote here. You have an AC adapter, which you're probably not going to need. You also have the USB to a micro USB connector. And with this cable here is one connector. We'll go ahead and connect the uh, actual Fire TV stick. We'll connect the US micro USB into here, and this part here is going to go into your USB in the back of your TV. This only provides power, so if you don't have a USB connector in the back of your TV, then you can go ahead and use the wall adapter, plug this into here, and plug this into your wall outlet. And this part here is the HDMI that goes on the back of your TV. Now this right here is actually like a uh, HDMI extender. Some of you guys are going to back your TV you're not going to be able to put this big entire thing into there so if you have like an issue where it's kind of like a tight space what you can do is plug it in like this now go ahead and plug this part into your HDMI port in your TV okay I'm not going to be needing this though nor am I going to be needing this as well because I'll plug the USB part directly in the back of my TV you also get instruction manuals and pamphlets here as well and like I said, they do provide you with their own AAA battery to put the battery in. What you want to do is see this little like round thing on the on the back of the remote here. What you want to do is press up. So you want to press up just like that. Insert the batteries. Ready to go. So first thing we're going to do to connect it is we're going to get the uh, Fire TV stick here. We're going to plug the micro USB into one part here. just like that. Now this part is going to go in the HDMI port on the back of my TV and this part will go into my USB port on the back of my TV. If you don't have a USB port or it's broken then you can always use a wall adapter and plug this. Again the USB part gives the actual fire stick power. Looking on the back of my TV here, wow I have three USB ports. It doesn't matter which one you pop it in. Let me just go ahead and I'll just put it in the middle one here. After you're done with that, go ahead and plug in the USB right into the USB port. I only have one USB port on my TV, but like I said, if you don't have that on the back of your TV or it's not working, you can put it in the wall wall socket using the actual wall adapter. Now that I have it plugged in, the next thing I have to, I have to do is put it on the correct HDMI port that it's on. Okay, So you, what you want to do is you want to go to input or source on your remote and you want to make sure it goes on the correct HDMI. For my Sony Bravia here, I know it's HDMI 3 because that's the only thing that's connected and it's highlighted in white. So I'm just going to go down with my TV remote. Go ahead and click on enter right there. Okay. Now I'm going to have to pair my remote. So basically go ahead and grab your remote and you want to press and hold the home button for about 10 seconds. The home button's right here. Let me just press and hold. Okay, it says Fire TV. Press play to restart or play to start. So let me go ahead and press on the play button right here. Let me go ahead and choose my language now. I'm going to go ahead and stick with this English for USA. Press on enter. Enter is just the middle right here on the remote. Now you always get this message here, it says unsupported USB port, that's if you're uh, plugged into your TV, which Amazon recommends using the wall adapter, but I tell you, I never had an issue plugging, it, plugging the USB part into my TV. However, if you do experience any kind of issues or delays or lags, then you may want to go ahead and try to put the USB uh, connected to the wall adapter and connect it to a wall. I'm going to go ahead and click on, it says continue without power adapter, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the OK. On my remote, it says config configuring network connection successful, checking for updates. Okay, fully registered. Now you can see right now it says, Hi Virgil, your Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K is registered to Virgil. Do you want to change this account? Now, because I bought this on Amazon through my account, they already knew like my information. Okay, so they already selected it. However, if you bought the um, the Fire Stick from eBay, or if you bought it from Amazon with a different account, 
it's going to have this. Basically, you just have to have to sign into your Amazon account. Okay, you can go to change my account. Anyways, mine's perfect the way it is. So I'm just going to move over here. It says continue. Press on the enter. It's asking if I want to enable parental controls. I don't need to. So I'm just going to go over here to no parental controls. Press on enter. Preparing your remote for setup. Now it says, we'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure the volume is turned up and then continue. So go ahead and click on the OK button here to go next. Now it says with your TV, toggle the volume up and volume down. Volume up and down is right here, okay? Up, down. So you just want to make sure if you press volume up or down that the volume is going up and down on the TV. Mine is fine. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes, it's already highlighted on the remote. Press on enter. Your Fire TV remote is now successfully set up. I'm going to go ahead and continue with OK. It's already highlighted. Press on the enter button right there. Now from here you can go ahead and choose your streaming devices if you have other stuff on there uh, like HBO, Sling, Hulu, Netflix. Everything is free to add. Some will require payment to full access. Of course, you know, Netflix is like $10 a month or whatnot. I'm just going to go ahead and go down to where it says, no thanks. Now I'm already in. So right here is Amazon Prime, okay? Now the thing is, like you can see like Netflix, uh, YouTube on here. The thing is, let's say I wanted Netflix. What you have to do is go ahead and click on the uh, OK button on the remote. And then you just have to download it, okay? Just go down. Just It says download. Um, download it. I'm just going to go ahead and press on the uh, OK button there and it's going to download it and then once it downloads I just have to sign in uh, with my username and password and then I'll be able to watch Netflix as well. You can see that it's installing right now and now it says I can go ahead and open it. So let me just click on the uh, back button. I can open it from here but I can click on the back button here. Click on the or click on the home home button here and then I can go directly to Netflix now and it's already downloaded and installed now I just have to sign in with my username and password and then I'll be able to use Netflix as you can see right here okay so let me go ahead and click on the home button here now really quickly I want to show you the voice remote right here is actually already hooked synced to Alexa so then you got to do is press and hold and ask something okay for example what time is it? It's 1.27 a.m. What's today's forecast? Currently, in Arcadia, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit with rain. Tonight, you can expect showers. Okay, so clicking on the home button here, I mean, you can see on the top here, we got the home, live, we got your videos, movies, TV shows, apps, and settings. Now, the thing is, because I bought this directly from Amazon, they already saved my Wi-Fi and password. So as soon as they knew who I was, they connected the same Wi-Fi and whatnot. The thing is, if you didn't buy it from Amazon with your account and you're signing into that particular account that you want to, you're going to have to go and connect it to the, your home Wi-Fi internet. Okay, so what you can do is just go to the home and just go to settings right here and then go ahead and press down. And then you want to go move over to the right one, move over to the right and you want to go to network. Click on network right there. And then from here, you want to go ahead and find your network. Okay, mine's ITSH guest. It's already connected though. You want to go ahead and connect in your, your, uh, to your network and it's going to ask you for your password. And then you guys will be up and running. Okay, anyways, if, if you have any issues or anything like that, uh, just comment below.